We have been working on subtracting two numbers and we have had to regroup in one of the place values. Today, we are going to have to regroup in two of the place values. So let's take this problem, 564 minus 378. Our menu end is 564, our subtrahend is 378. I've expanded their values 500 plus 60 plus 4 is 564. 300 plus 70 plus 8 is 378. But I only represent with drawings my menu end. So I have 564. Because subtraction means to take away or compare, I do not need to represent 378. I need to just take it away. So I'm looking at my ones. I know I need to take away eight ones and I cannot take away eight ones. So I am going to have to borrow from the tens. I'm gonna to have to exchange one of these 10 rods for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I just exchanged a ten rod for ten ones, and now I have fourteen ones. I need to take away eight of these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am left with one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Okay, now let's look at my tens. I have five tens left, or 50. I need to take away 70. I cannot take away 70 if I only have 50, because remember, this 10 rod is gone. So now I am going to have to exchange a 100 for 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, 10 10 rods equals 100. So now I have these 10 10 rods plus the five 10 rods that I had up here. So I have 15 tens, and I need to take away seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. Eight tens is worth 80. So now I've got to take away 300. I've taken away my eight ones, I've taken away my seven tens, and I need to take away 300. I can't count this hundred because I had to exchange it. So 100, 200, 300. I've taken away my 300 and I am left with 100. So the answer or the difference to my problem is 186. Let's do this with drawings. We've got our menu in, our subtrahend, and our difference. I have represented my menu in, which is 564. I need to take away 378. So I'm starting with my ones, 378. I'm starting with my ones and I cannot take away eight ones from four ones. So I am going to have to Get rid of this 10 and exchange it for 10 ones. So now I don't have four ones, I have four plus 10, which is 14 ones, and I can take away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am left with six ones. So now I must take away seven tens or 70, but I only have 50. I can't take away seven tens if I only have five tens. So I'm going to have to exchange my hundred for 10 tens. 
So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tens. That's 150. And now I'm going to take away 70. 1, 2, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I am left with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now I need to take away 300. So I've got 100, 200, 300. I am left with 100. The difference to this problem is 186. Let's do this one last time with expanded form, and then we'll look at one more problem. So let's look at 560 plus 4 minus 378. I cannot take away eight ones from four ones, so I'm going to have to take a 10 away. If I take a 10 away, 50, 60 goes down to 50, and I can add 10 to my four, my four ones, and I get 14. 14 minus eight ones is six ones. So now I come to my tens. I'm gonna to have to regroup again. I cannot take 70 away from 50, so I'm going to have to take 100 away. So instead of 500, I'm going to get it to 400, and I'm going to add 100 to 50. Well, 100 plus 50 is 150, and now I can subtract 150 minus 70, or I could count up 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. That would get me 80 left. And then I need to take 400 minus 300, which is 100. So I get the same difference of 186. Let's do one more problem. We're working on subtracting with regrouping in two different places. So let's do the problem 703 minus 425. We've got our menu end, our subtrahend, and our difference. We are only going to represent our menu end. Ones, tens, hundreds. So I've got 703. I have no tens. 703. No tens. And I am taking away 425. 425. So I've got to start with my ones. I need to take away five ones. I do not have five ones. So I need to borrow a 10. Uh-oh. I do not have any tens. So I've got to go all the way over here and I have got to borrow a hundred. And I've got to exchange this hundred first for 10 tens. But I still can't solve this part of my problem because I need one of these tens to help me with my ones. So I'm going to borrow one of my tens to give me 10 ones. So now I have 13 ones. I need to take away five of these ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I am left with eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I need to take away two tens or 20. Well, I can do that. I just can't count this one. 10, 20. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 left over. Last, I need to take away 400. I can't count this 100 because I already borrowed it. I had to exchange it for 10 tens. So now I need to take away 100, 200, 300, 400. I am left with 200. The difference that I am left with is 278. Let's look at this with expanded form. 703 minus 425. I cannot take five ones away from three ones, so I need to borrow a 10. I don't have any 10s, so I'm going to have to take away 100. 700 minus 100 is 600, and I'm going to give this zero the 100. But I need to use 10 of that 100 I need to take a 10 away to give to this three ones. So 100 minus 10 is 90. And I can give that 10 to my three ones. So now I don't have 
10 ones, I don't have three ones, I have 13 ones. 13 ones minus five ones is eight ones. 90 minus 20 is 70. And 600 minus 400 is 200. My difference is 278. I would know that I have the correct answer. I could add 425 plus 278, and I should get my menu end, which was 703. That's one way I could check my work. Today, you are going to practice regrouping and two of the place values.